All right, Shalom. First off, let me start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh All praises to the world, uh, to who the world ignorantly calls God, whose true name, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem in the name Yahweh Shai, in the name of the only begotten Son. Also, want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole flock, preachers, word and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tyler Brown in Great Millstone, Arizona camp. A little well with another video to edify. And I wanted to go on the top of, of uh, the scattered, right? So I was in the book of John, and, and you can't implant anybody else within the scattered that the Lord came for. Came for. Right? So let me get into this and Lord Well it be edifying. This is John 11 and 49. It says, And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year, said, Unto them, uh, you know, you ye, ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation, and that that the whole nation perish not. Right. So one man should die for the people, that the whole nation doesn't perish, and that's what Yahweh Shai came to do. Going back to Matthew, the first chapter. Tells you what, he shall save his people from their sins, right? So verse 51, it says, <clears throat> And this spake he not of himself, being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahweh Shai should die for, the, for that nation, right? For that nation. That's a, that's a specific nation that he would die for, right? It says, And not for that nation only, right? But that also he should gather together in one, the children of the Most High that were scattered abroad. So not only what the three tribes that were prevalent in the land of Israel at that time, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Because through the scattering under, I believe it's Rehoboam and Jeroboam under the split, right? The kingdom was split at that time. So what? The only real ones that were really there, they were a mix of, of other nations, of other tribes, Salakia, that were in the land of Israel, but chiefly it was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that were there. Right? So he wouldn't die for that nation only, but for the ones that were scattered abroad, abroad. Right? So when you go into that further, the ones that were scattered abroad, isn't it talking about straight up uh, whoever believes is, is going to be everywhere? No, it's really talking about the ones that believe that are in the nation of Israel. When you go back to Deuteronomy 28, this was part of the curse that the Lord spoke about. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, it says, And Yahweh will scatter thee among all people, right? Going back to the curses. So this was a punishment for us not doing what the Lord said. So the scattering that he was worried about, right, of that nation, the whole 12 tribes of Israel, were what? The only Israelites. It says in it says, and Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people uh, from from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there shall it says in there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. All right. So the scattering was talking about them. And it says among these nations, thou shalt have thou shalt find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart and Failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And this is exactly what's happening. All right. So that scattered of that nation was Israel because it went all the way back to the curses because the Lord what said he was going to come to save his people from their sins because the sins of the nation, the sins of our forefathers came with a heavy punishment that we needed to get pulled and saved out of. All right. This is James 1. James 1 and uh, 1, it says, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the 12 tribes which were which are scattered abroad, greeting. So the scattering are the 12 tribes. Now you have to go through these things precept upon precept, line upon line as is written, right? But Christians that don't, and, and people that don't really read the scriptures and go into the history, they don't understand 
why he was talking about the scattered abroad. Why it was always talking about that because it went back to the curses to, and to be saved out of those nations is what needed to happen. All right, so the Lord didn't come for everybody in that, right? This is Deuteronomy 30 and 3. And it says, um, and it says that then Yahweh will, then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity, right? And have com compassion upon thee. And will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether Yahweh thy power hath scattered thee. Right? This is the time that we're in. When Yahweh Shai came, this was the beginning of that. Because what? It started to close up the breaches. Right? The scriptures talk about the breaches, right? Let me get it. Amos 9 and 11 says, in, in that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will rise up his ruins, and I will and, and I will build it as in the days of old. Right? Because what? That brotherly bond was broken. So through what? Yahweh Shai come in, we have access back to that. And this is why you see the so-called ne Negroes, the so-called a Latino, the so-called Native Americans coming together under the banner of the word of the Heavenly Father as, as one again, right? Before, it, it, hey, you'd be hard-pressed to see Judah and, and Issachar, right? Any of the uh, of the Northern Kingdom really mixing and mingling like this in, in peace, right? But through what? The name of the Heavenly Father, through the understanding of the scriptures and the spirit of the Lord, this thing, these things are happening. So what? The Lord is causing that captivity to turn even while we're still under this devil's rule. It says that then Yahweh thy power, back in Deuteronomy 30 and 3, it says that then uh, Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether, that, whether Yahweh thy power has scattered thee. You see? It says, if any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh thy power uh, gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. You see? That's part of the blessing. This is what the Lord is about to do for the Israelites. And this is why when you go back to um, Romans, the ninth chapter, that the Lord said what? Let me get it. Romans 9. And I'm going to just read at the top. And we'll get through this, man. It says, I say the truth in the Mashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow for my, in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed from, my, from, from a Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption in the glory, in the covenants, in the giving of the law, in the promises of the Most High. Uh, it, it says, in the service of the Most High, in the promises, whose are the fathers, and as whom concerning the flesh, concerning the flesh, Amashiach came. So as whom concerning the flesh, the Lord came. The Lord didn't come in the flesh for anybody else, but those who were under, uh, uh, who were brethren according to the flesh, to Paul, which were what? Israelites. It says, and of whom concerning the flesh of Mashiach came, who is overall God blessed forever. Amen. So that scattering that's being gathered together now, right? The scattering was only talking about Israelites. It's not talking about a whole collection of believers here and there. Yes, the believers will be Israelites. The, the, the Israelites will be believers, but it's not solely based off of what you believe. You have to be a part of that nation and then you have to be a part of the elect the predestined number that were given the faith to believe in the heavenly father in the first place. Right? So this is Psalms 44 and 11. Psalms 44 and 11. And it says, um, it says thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat. Thou hast scattered us among the heathen sheep. That's that scattering again. Right. This is stuff people don't like to talk about. But when you, you when you go into the scriptures, you got to break these things down. Right. 
Who are the ones that the Lord gave us sheep scattered? The Israelites. Right? This is um Matthew's 10. Matthew 10 and 6. It says, but go rather up. I'm going to start at 5. It says, and it says, these 12 Yahweh I sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into any way of the Gentiles, and it and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see? The Lord is only dealing with the lost sheep, the scattered. Right? And those scattered are all Israelites. This is Jeremiah 50 and 6. Probably ended on this one. Jeremiah 50 six it says my people have been lost sheep who's the people of the lord the lord says even my even my son my first bond israel so the people of the lord is israel it says my people have been lost sheep their shepherds have caused them to go astray they it says they have turned away on the mountains they have gone from mountain to hill meaning those large governments to the small ones they have forgotten gotten their resting place which the resting place is what the heavenly father Right, but that's basically what it is, man. The scattered that was sc scattered among the heathen is who the Lord is coming for, and it's only the Israelites. You can't put in anybody else with that. This is just the truth of the matter. You can't get around that. So, Lord willing, you know this is an edifying lesson, just something quick. Um, Lord, will I'll be able to put it together another one. Let's keep going in the spirit. Shalom.